Hi and welcome to this new video and in this video I'm going to be looking at freestyle flow and what I mean by that is how you do a transition from one F FPV freestyle trick to another FPV freestyle trick but you do it in such a way that the transition is seamless. So just before we start I'm just going to look at the setup on my machine here so I'm going to run a 40 degree camera angle I'm going to run a hundred and let's get this in the right place 120 degrees field of view okay so that's the setup of the quad let me just get my sticks on display so we're in the countryside scenery I've just loaded up the pylons track because we're not really going to be using any track here so pylons is the one that's going to affect the performance the least this is the playground here and where we're going to go is we're going to go down the road here and then down the road here there's a big tree, this big tree here. This is what we're going to use in this scene and the reason I've picked this is because there are other trees around it and we should now be getting into the stage of learning to deal with the fact that there are other obstacles around and that we may need to work quite hard to make sure that we're taking account of where other things are and planning our tricks to avoid natural obstacles like other trees. So not just having you know a tree in the middle of a field with nothing else around it. I mean if you've got that in real life great but you're soon going to run out of things to do with it. In reality you're going to have something like this, it's going to have stuff around it and we need to learn to deal with that. If we fly past this tree and just kind of go out the back here you'll see there's a couple of trees close together here a few in a line and these are quite good for mucking around with doing different kinds of tricks through here that kind of stuff so okay so let's get into this let's talk about what is freestyle flow and I'm just going to land here and press L so my reset point is at the bottom of this tree so what is freestyle flow Freestyle flow is knowing what to do on the sticks to transition from one freestyle trick into another. So a very, very simple example where you don't really have to do any learning and that's not the point of this video, but a very, very simple example would be something like, I don't know, a power loop followed by a backflip, roll and flip. So a power, power loop followed by one of those okay so that maneuver it doesn't take any skills at all to kind of when you come through a power loop when you come out the bottom of it you're really just flying straight and level so it's no it's not really any different to approaching this trick as if you were just flying into it so that's not what I'm talking about what I'm talking about is when you do a proper transition from one maneuver to another and the transition is not simple it's not something you can just think to yourself oh yeah you know I recognize this I, I can just go from this maneuver to that maneuver no problem at all so I'm going to demonstrate what I mean what we're going to do is we're going to look at the transition from a knife edge orbit into a sideways loop with a tree as the focus of the freestyle trick. So I just demonstrated now and I haven't tried to fly this before so we'll get into our knife edge orbit and then I'm looking at the trees around here because there's going to be a point where if I try and go into a if I was to try and go into a knife edge loop above these two trees here I'm probably going to hit the top of these trees so I want to be doing it in this space here around here or even around here but definitely not above these two trees here and that's what I mean by doing this in a scenario where it's going to make it slightly more complicated we have to think a little bit more about where to initiate the transition from one trick to another so we're in our knife edge orbit and then we're going to switch here and try and go into sideways loop there we go sideways loop and then we're going to transition back into our orbit like that so this is the sort of transition I'm talking about where what you're doing on the sticks is not 
simplistic. It's not obvious how you go from one manoeuvre to the other and therefore you need to practice how you do that to learn what you do on the sticks in order to go from one manoeuvre to another and to discover what manoeuvres you can just go from one to the other and it will work because there are definitely manoeuvres where trying to go from you know, a knife edge orbit into um, a matty flip for instance is probably not going to work. There's, there's not really any point in those two manoeuvres where the quad is in the same kind of orientation where you could do a seamless transition. So what I mean by that is when you're doing a knife edge or if I just position my quad here and just lock it in place as we're flying around this you know like this and we're doing our knife edge orbit that doesn't really look any different you know there's a point in a knife edge loop sorry not knife edge loop in a sideways loop where the tree would look like this you know as we were falling down and basically looping around to go back up again we would go through this position with our quad so this is a natural transition point this point here is is the point where we want to make our transition so if i just put my unlock the quad again so just demonstrate that you know this is our knife edge orbit and the tree kind of looks like it's on its side like that and then if i come out of that and just sort myself into a a sideways loop you can see that around about there that's where you would be in a orbit about there see see the the fact that the the loop here the sideways loop actually goes through a position where you would be in the orbit so that ought to be a place where you can do a seamless transition from sideways loop into knife edge orbit so if we look at that here's our knife edge orbit again now we're going to throw the quad up and over and then we can transition back again look at that same point in the knife edge loop that I was just looking at so there's a nice seamless transition here you can go up and over and then maybe do another one and then at this point here we'll back straight into a knife edge orbit and there is a a point where that transition just works and it and it just looks like it's almost one trick that we're doing because we're just and let's I get close to the tree there and this is one of the things that it's why you practice these transitions is that you realize when you do these that certain things happen and one of the things that happens when you transition into the sideways loop is you get close to the tree see how I've got close to the tree so what I'm doing on the sticks here is moving me in closer to the tree. So I need to, yeah, so I've got to bring off my forward elevator command in order to stop that point where I get in close to the tree. So as I'm learning this transition, I'm learning what it is I need to do on the sticks in order to make sure I don't come in close to that tree. Because if I keep that forward elevator on, I do end up falling in towards the tree. And to transition back out again, so we, I mean, we just looked at the, the transition in is just kind of coming off the forward and then throwing the quad up and into the into the sideways loop. The transition out is looking for that position in the knife edge orbit that we're familiar with, this sort of position, to to then bring the power back in and push forward on the stick on the elevator stick in order to get yourself back into the orbit so we go into our knife edge uh, sorry our sideways loop and then here we're pushing the throttle back in and pushing forward to go back into the orbit and that wasn't as tidy because I was talking all the way through it I find it hard to talk and fly at the same time so I'm having to concentrate but there is a point there where you can just jump straight back in to the knife edge orbit and it's completely seamless and this is what I'm talking about by freestyle flow this is how you get from one relatively complicated trick into another without it looking like it was two tricks it just looks like one trick seamlessly folded into the next trick and that's what you're going for and the transition what you do on the sticks you can treat as another maneuver
because it's the manoeuvre you perform to go from one trick to the other and it's always going to be the same so it's like learning a manoeuvre for the first time except the manoeuvre is purely for transitioning from one trick to another and all you need to do is to develop a freestyle flow is start picking tricks so just pick two tricks and say well can I transition nicely from this trick to that trick have a look at the two tricks see if there's a point where the quad is in a similar orientation where you could pick it up and mold what you're currently doing into that next trick if there is a, an orientation you go through with the quad that is similar for the two maneuvers then it may be possible to merge them together into a combination maneuver that looks seamless if the quad never seems to go through a point where it's in the same sort of orientation then it's going to be very difficult to merge one trick into another and you may then need to put some other trick in the middle in order to do it um, and, and that's that's the focus of a whole another video because this one's probably gone on for long enough um, but to sort of very quickly talk about this I mean we we could be looking at uh, let's try and pick something here so when you do uh, a your spin through like this and then you come back over the top it should be possible to just turn that into a matty like that um, there was no extra maneuver that I had to throw in at the top in order to make that happen but it may be that if you're trying to go from one trick to another there may not be a point you go through where the quad is in the right orientation and therefore you need to do something else like throw the quad up and get into a dive before you then go into a sideways loop or or something like that it may be that you know the way you transition from you know one of these your spins and through is by throwing up like this and then coming back down and, and going into you know, your sideways loop I don't know I'm kind of ad-libbing here but what I'm trying to to give you is the the thought processes that you go through when you're trying to work out how you're going to do a transition from one trick to another. Well, if we pick another one, so you know, if I've got a an orbit like this, looking at a tree, is there a way I can turn that into a power loop as I come through the middle? Well, actually, yeah, it worked reasonably well. Um, yeah, this is the this is the sort of type of thinking that you need to develop. And if you if you do that, and you think to yourself, "Oh, actually, that didn't. It should have worked, but it didn't quite feel right." Well, now you're in the situation where you've got a transition to learn, and you need to do the trick over and over and over again to try and work out what that transition what that transition is. So when I'm doing this orbit, looking at something, it probably probably ought to be possible to just whiz that so what I'm thinking about now is can I turn this into a sideways loop not easily so again this is this is another one where I don't know whether there is an, a nice transition from this into a sideways loop if I, as I go through the bottom of a sideways loop I'll definitely be in this orientation you know if you look at a sideways sideways loop when you come through the bottom of it there that's a similar position that you would be in when you were doing an orbit looking at this tree so I've just transitioned from sideways loop directly into an orbit looking at the tree and the question is how do I get from from this maneuver into into the sideways loop and that's a, a little bit harder but you can see that you know, it's possible so this is the type of thinking that I want you to develop so that you can start merging tricks together into flowing freestyle. Okay, that, this video has probably gone on for far too long already, and it was a really complicated one to get the the points across as to how you do this. But it it's trial and error. It's picking two tricks and saying, "Can I get from one to the other seamlessly?" Looking for a point between the two tricks where the quad has a similar orientation, where you can do that seamless transition and then practicing and working out what you do on the sticks in order to make that transition and then the more of these transitions you learn the more you can seamlessly flow from one trick to the next to the next and make it look like a flight 
a seamless flight with flow, with freestyle flow, rather than it looking like a flight separated by a series of individual tricks. Okay, that's it for this video, and I'll see you on the next one.